Well, here to discuss more on cartel activity and this case is Steve Duncan, retired special agent from the California Department of Justice. Steve, thank you for your time. Uh, the defense is going to argue Sarabia simply followed orders. He wasn't making decisions, but based on everything we know, is that believable? No, it's not believable. Uh, he is a leader. He operated Durango for Chapo and Mayo, Sinaloa cartel, and his capture, <clears throat> until his capture, and now his brothers are running the drug trafficking organization in, in Durango. You know, so Steve, El Chapo's locked up. More of his men continue to fall, but is the Sinaloa cartel still just as powerful and dangerous as it's always been? It's as dangerous and powerful as ever. Um, Chop Miles Zambada, uh, Miles Zambada is, owns the government of Mexico. He's been in control since the 1980s. He's never been arrested. He, he's battling for control of the Sinaloa cartel with Chapo's sons. And those loyal to Chapo's sons are known as uh, Los Chapitos. Those loyal to Mayo are known as Los Mayos. There's an ongoing battle in different parts of Mexico, but primarily along the southwest border from Tijuana all the way to Ciudad Juarez between factions of Mayos groups and Los Chapitos. Um, and I think now uh, Mayos got the upper hand, and I think it's Los Chapitos, members of Los Chapitos are the ones that are being arrested, not members of Los Mayos. Well, Steve, you know, this cartel activity, Sinaloa and otherwise, really spans the globe. But how much of it do you think is to blame for the record amount of fentanyl that, that's flooding into our country right now? Well, Mexico is a primary source for all drugs. Um, most of the fentanyl is, is made in Mexico. And so, uh, and Mexico's always been, well, since the mid 1980s, after the Miami Vice days, they've been the primary corridor for drugs moving into the United States. Um, and, you know, fentanyl is very easy to smuggle. It's very, you know, based on its composition. So it's going to continue to come in because we have such a huge appetite for drugs here. And, you know, sooner or later, fentanyl is going to take over uh, for heroin. It's going to take over. Uh, because it's just much more powerful. And, you know, our people that are dedicated to heroin are going to start using more and more fentanyl. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.